Hey, welcome to my channel where I talk about my dolls, and that's literally it. And in this video, I'm going to be opening my latest American Girl CYO doll. Technically, American Girl Boy CYO doll. Create your own, because it's a boy. And I'll be redressing him and then introducing him to his sisters. And I've been talking about this doll for quite a while in quite a few videos, because I've had him, had him planned for quite a while, since around my birthday, I think. So let me just get with the opening, because <laughs> this could be long but hopefully not. So I'll try to be, show a better view because I'm, <laughs> I'm always like selfishly opening things, even though you've probably seen plenty unboxings at least already on my channel alone. All right, let's see if we can see what's inside. Ooh. <laughs> I think that shows pretty much everything. Except I have them upside down, don't I? Yeah. As I've said in other CYO unboxings, they come with the four foam corners, encased in plastic. Oh, I put his whole name. That's fun. Because <laughs> um, I already knew that by, when I ordered him, I already knew it was going to be like the Feldman family. So let me take off the plastic. Very loud. So his name is Jericho Feldman, because as I've already said, these are the... This is, the Feldman sisters, Feldman family now. And so far, every time I've opened a CYO on here, I've turned it toward the camera so that you can see first, and I think that's been good luck. So I'm going to do that once again. Yeah. Well, you can see him. Is that good? Is he a good one? Tell me he's a good one. I mean, I'll see him before you tell me, but still. Yes, he's a good one. <laughs> And I, as I uh, pull him out, I kept the, this, the packing slip, which has everything about the doll. So it's the Kaya head. That's what they call it. They, I forget what they call it on the site. And Kaya head five, I guess that's the skin tone five with freckles. ZD laxed max outfit. Oh no, that's not what it's called on the site. I thought this was like the city. Anyway, custom label service charge. I guess that's his name. Uh, green eye color times two, side part red. So that's the hair, city style accessories box. I'll make sure to open that this time. Custom doll body and awesome ombre glasses. So he's not gonna be wearing this outfit. I just, I only have a couple outfits left of the CYOs to own. So I just tried to get him one of the ones that I don't have yet. And I will be able to use this red plaid shirt because <laughs> I wear a lot of plaid. So of course my dolls would look great in it too. Oh, and look at his boots. So sparkly. <laughs> Can you see is the camera picking it up? I don't think I realized. So I guess this is, I mean, boys can wear sparkles, but I don't think, I don't think doll clothes are designed with girls or boys in mind when they're sparkly. So I'm going to assume that this is actually a girl outfit. And let me go into the accessories box. Put him over here. I don't think we need this anymore. And I've already shown the outfit he's going to be in in other videos. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so a toque or a beanie. Let me just put it on for now, even though he won't be wearing it. <laughs> and so I... When I ordered my last CYO boy, I got the outfit that goes with these accessories, but I wanted different accessories for the, the purpose of what I was ordering. So these don't actually go with this outfit. Not that you have to buy any particular outfit. And there's this little, call it a satchel, pouch, bag. So I think this would technically be like the boy accessories. Is that how I have them on him? <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the monitor instead of at the doll. I, I think they were backward. And it comes with a thermos drinking bottle. And I have plenty of these in my American Girl collection. A cell phone case. I don't know why I'm opening the case before the phone. I guess I picked it up first, I guess. And then the phone, which will come with a couple of these inserts. So he can look like he's either looking at his home screen or probably getting a call. I know that the, um, the boy accessory set not not the here but like if you buy it if you bought the truly me set it came with one of the 
it said like dad calling, <laughs> which I thought was a cute little twist because American Girl, you know, is usually pretty uh, minimal on their boy things. So what am I going to put in here? Where does this go? So you slide it in from, the, nope, maybe you have to open this back up. Yeah. So you open and then pop it in and then they would technically hold it with their big hands, like so. And as I already mentioned, I got the ombre. He's not gonna hold it. <laughs> it's not that important. And a snack mix. So these are the components of the city city style accessory pack. And now I'll open the glasses. They're not for him. I just, you know, if you're if you're ever, whenever you order the CYO dolls, I've learned to get as many things as possible because it's all kind of buried in the price and, you know, I would, I didn't need him to have pierced ears. Who can wear these? Put, you, put them on you for the sake of the video? Sure. So because I didn't get him pierced ears, I at least got him whatever accessories I could. Too much glare? Ugh. Yeah. Fine enough angle. And the glasses case that they all come with. Now I can redress him which is something I have been looking forward to for so long. It's like I put all those clothes, those accessories on them just to take them off. Uh, this is the classic cowgirl outfit by Maple Lee, and I've already shown it in um, at least one other video when I um, when I unboxed the when I did a Maple Lee unboxing about a month ago. Cool. And so now, like I said, let me take off all this stuff. And so one thing I can talk about while I'm dress it, redressing him is. I've set up a dis uh, display for this family, little family scene. And because it was, there are a couple animals that go with it. I'll show them a little bit later. Because there are a couple animals that go, <laughs> okay, here's a funny little twist. He comes with pink underwear. <laughs> I guess they don't make, I don't think my other boy CYO came with pink underwear. I feel like I would remember that. But anyway, if you're curious, here he is with his pink underwear. And I can show you now that I've got his shoes off. He's got a, the, the painted foot here with the, is it say one of a kind? Yeah, one of a kind. And now the CYOs have the engraved star as well. So I was saying, because I uh, have a scene now with animals and three dolls, it ended up being a bigger display than I expected. So what I originally had planned didn't work out. So I had to put them in a bigger space. And this space is kind of out in the open. So I asked my partner if he would paint me they're like obviously like gonna be a little farm scene i asked my partner if he would paint me like a barn background and he was excited to do it <laughs> he did it so fast like he he made the painting faster than american girl made the cyo doll so i'll show that after i get the dolls all introduced and put together and so in case you didn't see the last dressing video where i put this on an american girl doll let me just show you how <laughs> it's not too tight it's just my, I'm dramatic with my face. So I'm trying to like make it look not as hard as, you know, as it really is. Oh, actually, I think I tucked the shirt in for this one. Because anytime I talk about Maple Girl, Maple Lee dolls, I like to mention that their bodies are, are not as thick. And so their, their limbs are longer. You, some might say they're lankier. <laughs> and, um, that's, uh, sorry, a little, a little inside joke to my AG tuber friend, Bailey, but yeah, so their bodies are lankier. And so that's why I like to kind of show how different things fit in case anybody was curious about anything specific that I happen to have in my videos that they wanted to buy for their American girl dolls. And I'm just trying to get him tucked in here. And the reason I chose the coloring that I did, because uh, the, the, the sisters of his are uh, kind of, they're strawberry blondes, but a little, I think they would technically be classified as redheads. And they don't have strawberry blonde on the CYO generator. So I just went with actual red hair. Yeah, it's better match than making him blonde. Where are his boots? <laughs> right here in his hat. So these are a little bit tricky uh, because, as you can see, the... It's a way different shape and it's going over a pair of jeans. I should have left them stretched out longer, but we'll see how this goes. And, and the thing I should also note is when I bought this clothing set, this outfit, 
the something on the boots was rubbing off in the box because the inside of the box that may bleed clothes comes in as white. <laughs> yeah, my face is not being dramatic this time. These are a little tricky to get on. Ugh. So one thing I just wanted to like make, make people aware of is something might be, I haven't seen any rub off since I've removed the outfit from the box. At first I thought it was dye transferring from something in the clothes. But I'm pretty sure it's like like the leather, like maybe the, it can, so this can like rub off onto, I don't know, maybe a doll stand surface, something like that. But I don't think it was dye coming off the outfit itself, but I have recently discovered, but I didn't discover it. Christy at AG takes over and let me know that she discovered the Mooncakes outfit sweater is causing some dye issues. And I'm not just like filling in dead air time. I is something I want to mention peri or like periodically. I don't wear cowboy hats, so I don't know what's supposed to be the front and what's supposed to be back. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting this on backwards. 50% chance. But wow. Here's Jericho. All gussied up. Literally. So the last time I showed this outfit, it was on a 77. A slightly customized 77. Just so he's safe for the video, because I'm always knocking things down. Let me put him on a doll stand. And cute. Because I did, I decided like two days ago that they're now going to have a cousin who visits their ranch sometimes because I did a Maple Leaf unboxing. My last video was a Maple Leaf unboxing. And I just put this uh, doll on, or the this outfit, another Maple Leaf outfit on another CYO doll I had. And she looked so cute that I thought, you know what? She suits being with the family. So let me see if, if you know, I can make a space for her. And I, the space I have is pretty limited. So she, it is going to be kind of a tight fit if I leave her another time. So she'll just visit and she won't be there for winter. And now let me quickly show the animals that I've already shown in another video. So this is a Maple Leaf cow. And it comes with the outfit that the, the, the pink outfit she's wearing over here. And as I showed in other videos, in the video when I opened it, the knees, it's got a plastic jointed skeleton. So you can pose it, pose the cow, have it sitting down, have her sitting down. And so this is kind of how the story evolved in my head was by buying, you know, have first these dolls and then this outfit. And because I love the cow so much, I ended up buying Chinook, who is the pony. And again, these are all Maple Leaf outfits and animals. And this horse pony i should say goes with the brianne who is i think the calgary girl because she's got a stampede outfit so i'm calgary stampede that's why i'm assuming she comes from she's from calgary so to anyone who doesn't know see growing up chinook was such a common name for dogs like i don't know how many huskies i knew growing up with the name chinook and i feel like it's a canadian term like canadians use the name chinook a lot and it's like a gust of wind that comes down from mountains. And obviously it's, it's an indigenous word. I couldn't tell you which indigenous language. I should have looked this up, but I didn't know I was going to talk about it. And so that's, I think the, the horse having this name, or pony, I keep saying horse, having this name is so Canadian. Um, and so I think that's all I need to do for this segment. That's nice. It's going to be like a pretty quick video. So as I mentioned in a past video, her name is Starla. Her name is Starla. Her name is Brienne. And oh, she is Shyla. So I wanted to name her a name that's kind of uh, ironic because she's not shy at all. So that's why I thought, oh, you know, her, if her parents named her Shyla, thinking she was going to be shy as a baby, but then she's like a really like rootin' tootin', really loud kind of girl. And I named him Jericho after. I mean, I tell all these stupid stories. So just why, why not? But like, why not tell another one at this point? Uh, one of my favorite albums of all time, and it's like 25 years old now, is called Passenger by a Canadian singer named Tara McLean. And I see them as kind of Canadian. Like, they're going to be Canadian. I think this might be their American cousin visiting when she visits. So a Canadian singer, the first song on the album is Jericho. And it's like, as old as that album is, I still listen to it all the time to this day. So there's my uh, silly tidbit fact for the video. And I think now I can show you the setup I have. Um, and like I said, my partner painted a barn background. So <laughs> I'm going to show off some of his work. OK, so see you in a second. So here's my little farm diorama. 
and I'm going to take a few minutes just to zoom in and show you everything because I can't say how obvious it was in the video, the last segment of the video, but <laughs> I had to turn off my AC for the sake of filming the unboxing and my apartment got really, really hot. My camera overheated. And so what I was seeing on the monitor was a lot of freezing and technical glitches going on. So I thought, uh oh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to use this. And it's an unboxing video, so I can't redo it. So there are definite moments where you can see panic in my eyes. And I was just like, you know what, whatever happens, this is the video. And it turns out it was just it was just the feed to the monitor that was causing the issue. So the few things I would have mentioned is that the CYO coming back over to Jericho is I ordered him June 14th, which was a Friday night. And then he arrived yesterday when I did the video, which was July 3rd. So it was about three weeks all in all, which seems to be the average when I order my CYOs. And uh, another thing is uh, the pink underwear. I would say that that's actually with the outfit. So that means it was, it was a girl's outfit. And when I ordered a boy's outfit before, I didn't get pink underwear. So I just wanted to throw that in that little tidbit too. And when I was mentioning Bailey, this inside joke with Bailey, I should have mentioned her channel's name if anybody doesn't know her real name, it's American Girl Films. And that was pretty weird to me just to like gloss over her name like that. But I was in like panic mode after like a few minutes of the recording. And now I can just let you like go in and say that this is the painting my partner made me so that I, my dolls would have something behind them because I couldn't put wallpaper up on thin air. And then I have this grass mat down here. So it's like a textured mat that I got from from Michael's and this white picket fencing is just a two inch fence just to create the illusion. It doesn't have to be like an actual to scale fence. I just wanted something to make it look like it, you know, blends into the background and maybe one day I'll paint it brown because the painting my partner made has brown fence and I want it to kind of look like a continuation. And I didn't even really talk enough about how cute Jericho is with the, the lightest skin tone, the green eyes with the red hair because I was in such a mental state. So uh, here's a little moment just to show everyone. And I mentioned before that I put braces on dolls when I wanna make them look younger, so to make her look like the younger sister. And I even gave the wrong name for the cousin character. Her name's not Shyla, her name's Cheyenne. And I was confusing the fact that Shyla sounds like Starla, but actually her name is Cheyenne like Brienne. So anyway, this is the entire family, the, well, when the cousin visits, and I think now I've covered everything, but if, it, it's okay if not. At least this was a pretty short video for me, so this should be an easy one to get through, and I will see you soon in the next one.